Hey, Avery. Hey, Grant. What's up? Hey, you would not guess this. Our Credit Watch app? The traffic has been exploding the last few months, with all the viewers checking out our cute animals. And our product manager, Martin, he's requested we introduce some real-time functionality in our Cloud Run web app. Specifically, we're looking to add real-time chat. Wow, that sounds really cool. However, I'm not sure where to start from the technical side of things. I mean, there's HTTP push, gRPC, WebSockets, service and events, polling, etc. Oh, I can help. Let's walk through our options. When it comes to real-time communication with services, there are a couple options, server sent events, WebSockets, and gRPC. Server sent events use the HTTP protocol to create a persistent one directional connection to send data from the server to the client. Server sent events are great for apps where you don't need to send any data to the server. Uh, that sounds really good, especially for like a Twitter style news feed or maybe like a real time dashboard of stock quotes. But uh, in this case, we need a chat app to have bi directional communication. What are the other options? Well, Cloud Run also supports WebSockets, which allows us to open a two directional connection between the client and server. Both the client and server can trigger communication with one another, and both can send messages at the same time. Oh, that sounds amazing. But wait, there is more. You also mentioned gRPC, which can also enable bi-directional communication, but it uses HTTP2 protocol and a remote procedure call framework. Though there is a web proxy for browser server communication, gRPC is mostly used for communication between backend services. So in this case, for a two-way chat app, I would recommend WebSockets. Mm, OK, that all sounds really clear. Uh, thanks. So let's go and look at the code. So it looks like uh, in Martin's chat app, we use uh, WebSockets using Socket.io. So how does this work? Socket.io is a nice wrapper for WebSockets and provides some additional features. And just like using the WebSocket API directly, we will install and initialize Socket.io on both the client and the server. The server will listen for the connection event, which allows us to access the Socket instance on both the client and server. The Socket instance can emit and listen for messages. All right, cool. So how do I then deploy this on Cloud Run? One of the great parts about WebSockets is it comes out of the box with Cloud Run. I can deploy this straight from my terminal using gCloud, which can also handle containerizing the application by specifying my source directory. Now that it's deployed, let's test it out by logging into a chat room. Oh, awesome. Um, and it looks like Martin's already in the app. Oh, uh, however, there seems to be an issue. Messages are disappearing between sessions. Uh, do you know how to fix that, Avery? I think I know what the problem is. Cloud Run automatically scales container instances and load balances every request between the available instances. Therefore, your client may be connecting to a different container instance, and we haven't set up any way to share or store the data. So I guess we need to like, save the chat messages to a database? Well, a database doesn't quite solve this problem because you need to pull the database for updates. But we can avoid pulling altogether by using a publisher subscriber broker like Redis. Container instances can publish to a specific channel as well as subscribe for push updates. OK, so uh, yeah, that sounds good. How then do we? Add that. First, I'll go create a Redis instance for us to use via Cloud Memory Store. 
Our Redis instance lives in a virtual private cloud, which means it's not accessible from the outside internet. So I'll also have to go create a serverless VPC access connector so our cloud run service can connect to our Redis instance. When we redeploy, we'll need our Redis IP and the name of our serverless VPC access connector. Can you update the app to subscribe and publish to the Redis channels? Well, using Socket.io, all I had to do was update it to use the Redis adapter. And it handles broadcasting events to all clients, regardless of what container instances they are connected to. We can connect to the Redis instance with the IP and port environment variables uh, when deploying our Cloud Run service. Let's deploy our changes and specify our new Redis environment variable and the VPC connector. Oh, it works. That was easy. I'm so glad we got it working. I'm so glad too. And now I know the difference between server-side events, WebSockets, and gRPC. It's so easy to use WebSockets with Cloud Run to add real-time chat to Martin's app. And don't forget, with WebSockets and Redis, we're able to store and coordinate our data with thousands of users across all of our container instances. Well, thanks so much, Avery. I'm sure Martin will be very happy. Oh, uh, it looks like I have a lot of messages to reply to. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me get to that. <laughs> awesome. See you next time. See ya.